Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft video. Today I will be showing you how to build a big reactor's reactor. I have here five examples. These are early to mid game as I like to call it. First I'll be turning on all of these so you can see which one's more most efficient slash which one you yourself would like to build. And then I will be building a reactor to show you how it works. We'll start by showing off the smallest of the reactors, the 3x3x3. Three by three by three. All of these reactors are going to be powered by Fever Beast Industrial Contraptions Uranium to make for the most realistic comparison for mid to early game as if you're playing a Fever Beast mod pack that's what you'll have most of at the end of a few weeks. Right, let's start it. As you can see, it ramps up immediately. What I'm expecting here is a maximum temperature of about two of about 770, as well as an output of about 185. So here's the first of the cooled reactors. This is a very simple pattern. Let's see how this if this one's any good. Here we go. Immediately you'll you'll notice for the higher price you have to pay for this machine, you get a lot more out of it. Core heat, I'm expecting about 178, yeah. I quite frankly think this is an excellent choice. Compare it to this, which only has one block of cooling and eight block eight fuel rods. I imagine this will have a lot higher energy output, but as we can see, it's got also got a lot higher core heat. Yeah, 2,000. However, you get 4 million Fe per tick, whereas you only get 3.6 million Fe, Fe per tick there. Now, this is one I'm currently going with. Five fuel rods and four water. I believe the cooling should be adequate. However, it won't produce as much energy as the first one I showed you. Now, this is one I don't trust. This is the no coolant at all option. It's got nine fuel rods. Let's see what's what. <laughs> yep, yeah, you'll note the core heat just explodes into... Well, explodes, maybe not the ideal word, but that's kind of what it's doing. You're producing only slightly more than the one that has coolant, but it's dangerously hot, I call this. So now I'll be showing you how to build one of these things. What you need is reactor casing, fuel rods, a control rod, a solid access port, a controller, and an active forge energy power tap. There's a passive one, but just go with the active, it's easier, unless you have like something specific in mind. And of course you have the option of reactor glass if you want it to look all, all aesthetic and fancy. So here we go. To build one of these larger ones, I go I like going with a 5x5x5. Five by five by five. Sort of make this, build yourself a frame out of reactor casing. Right, then we'll fill up these sides. The interface blocks can be placed anywhere as long as they're not at the edge. Build however anywhere in the middle is fine. Got to build the flooring here, that is also necessary. And now what you do is you build, you fill up. Fill this area with reactor fuel rods. Top of those fuel rods you'll have a control rod and then you'll want to fill this with coolant, in this case water buckets. Make sure you place, well nine of them, place down a reactor controller. Now we'll add the solid access port which is where you throw in your yellorium or your uranium. And finally, last but not least, the active forge energy power tap where you would place your power cubes or cables or whatever you have. There you go. Now you just chuck in some uranium and press on. There you have it. One big reactor. Oh no, they're not called big reactors. They're called extreme reactors. Moving on. Okay, one last thing. You'll know the build has worked because the casing gets these little lines on it. So that was that for this video. I do hope it helped you. If it did, do consider liking and or subscribing, although this isn't the main focus of this YouTube channel. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in a the comment down below. I'm not an expert, but I'll try to help you as much as I can. Other than that, have a nice day. Goodbye.